Welcome to Aircraft Interior, Middle East 2023. So we're already seeing airlines are putting new cabin product. Lufthansa rolled out their new one. I've flown on Air France 777 on the new cabin. More and more airlines are now starting to reinvest their cabin products. But at a show like this, there are lots of new seats that hasn't flown on the airplane are showing first time here. Let's go and check them out. Here I am, I'm sitting in the biggest business class suites on a single hour aircraft. The amount of space here is astonishing. I don't know what magic they did, but there's a lot more space than what normally you experience on a single hour aircraft. This seat was absolutely, it was developed specifically for the Suite 21. So it's not a wide body seat that we had adapt for the single else, but this seat was made for the single else, for the long range single else. So um, to support an extra long range flight up to eight, nine hours. Uh, so you can see that it's absolutely uh, full privacy, doors, so you have plenty space with a tray open, you have uh, additional storage for your computer here, and what is amazing absolutely on this seat, it's uh, the, the bed mode, so you have uh, 80 inch uh, uh, for yeah. the bed, mo bed mode length. It's pretty long, um, I can if see. You, yeah. uh, if you want to try the bed mode, so you don't have cushion, but uh, try, right. try there's try a to, massive, there's a massive yeah. full well space so, here. So try to, to really, sleep you're right. on, on your side, try, because most of the people... sleep on my side, right? Most people most sleep on the side. Yes, most people sleep on the side. Yeah, there's loads of space if you sleep on the side, yes. For your knees. Yeah, so your knees can go inside here. Exactly. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of space for my feet to move. Exactly. Really. Wow. Whatever your size, you know. Amazing, huh? uh, Yeah. Even you have a large shoulder, uh, you can fit easily in this. Yeah, uh, I don't this know seat. how the magic came. You make the single narrow body a lot of space. A lot of space, even more than the wide body. Yeah. More living space. I learned something very cool at the aircraft interior show here. This looks like a standard laboratory, but it's not. Show us the magic. All right. This is expandable laboratory. And we are able to expand this in flight. Look at this. So this is easily done by any uh, cabin crew. And then you get 40% more space, as well as a much bigger opening uh, for wheelchairs to go in. Basically what you do in flight is that you can actually expand this, and then you get 40% uh, more space, which is a lot uh, considering this is on a narrow body. And this thing slides forward and you get a bigger opening uh, for the wheelchair to go in. So I will just push over a wheelchair and this is able to go in with another with space for another person to stand inside to assist the wheelchair user over onto the toilet bowl and thereafter i'm going to close this up so that they have complete privacy to use the laboratory you're going to see a lot of cool interior seats before they even install on the airplane and this seat actually came from the Italian manufacturer, Avia Interiors. And they used to have those Skyrider, the horse straddle seats. They're infamous. And now they come up with something cooler, bigger in business class. So I want to know what's the feature on their seat. This seat is, uh, it, it will be installed on the 737 MAX. So since the range is going to be also up to six hours, it's not just domestic, but it's going to be also intercontinental. Iceland there, we will use it, for example, to go to the US from, uh, from Reykjavik. And they will use this seat, and uh, it's very comfortable because the width of the seat is more than 23 inches, and with a generous recline up to 15 inches screen with leg rest, so full luxury amenities that we can install are on this. Uh, one of the best features of this seat is its weight. It's 25 kilos per pack on the standard features and uh, this is also good for the airlines because it can have more range and less uh, kilos on board. So this is also good for the new airlines that would like to have a, a lighter business class but not compromise with the comfort. 
So how does it work at a show like this is you got airline as buyer. They come to the show to meet supplier who supply the seats, supply the interior, could be a letter, it could be a component, IFE connectivity. So this is a show for the industry to network and meet, but also it's a great show for a passenger like me to provide feedback to the provider. At the show, I met Alex again. If you guys remember last year, Alex came to me and he was a university student. He came up with this creative double-decker configuration of seats, especially for economy and premium economy. And I just want to get your update from you. You're back this year. Yes, I'm back. How you can realize from an idea to production to make these seats actually coming onto the airplane? So we are working with certification agents, with design agencies, and with engineering agencies that can bring that idea, that first drawing, to a concept and a reality that then you can try on an airplane. After I've shown your seats, a lot of people actually came with a funny comment in the video. I know. They said uh, the people sit on upper deck could actually fart and put the gas poison the people yeah. are downstairs. It's, it's What's a, your reaction on that? It's a funny question, but let me tell you, hot air rises. So the passenger in the lower row is the actual... actual okay, he can escape. The, so the hot air goes up. The hot okay. air goes up. But the, the reality is that you have a solid shell behind the passenger in the upper row. So that gas is not going to go into the passenger of the lower row. It's just a joke, I know. Some people take it very seriously. I love it. But um, it wouldn't happen. Just trust me, it will not happen. You know, there's no breakthrough economy class for a very long time, for 50 years. Economy is three and three, that's it. Yep. And then I'm really amazed at the double-decker, you know, at least it's a bit of unconventional thinking and I try to break through away from just the economy and a bunch of seats and then people are not enjoying the experience due to lack of space. So hopefully uh, next year you come back and getting a certified and then we'll be one step closer to the airplane. Our proposal, Sam, is that in the economy class you pay very little, but we want to provide those passengers with different type of experiences. So with our seat, you can have the current standard seats for the outbound, so on the window side, but then you are able to have a very upper class experience on the upper row where you can actually have a very wide view of the aircraft and this is for the same price of an economy class ticket and in the lower row that's the favorite for me and for you probably because we are quite tall so you can fully stretch your legs under the passenger sitting on top of, on top of you and the best thing is same passenger capacity three times more passenger comfort I'm checking out all the interior stuff, the leather, the synthetic and stuff. Matthew, I want to know, what are the latest trends these days inside the aircraft seats? Nowadays, we see basically three trends. We see first, of course, for luxurious airlines such as Emirates. We see a very huge demand nowadays on the genuine leather with some specific patterns, stitching patterns, faux perforated patterns, where luxurious is the design demand. In addition, we are also promoting Alcantara, carbon neutral material for seat covers, but also for wall covering with some very nice absorption properties with programs such as Vistara, Turkish Airlines, for example. And of course, we continue to support trend number three, which is very lightweight, cost-efficient material, which we call Enduralite. We have the product number one in weight, and this is the perfect product for an airline, which is really looking at a very low life cycle, total life cycle cost. So here I'm checking out another fixed shell seat. I think this is a business class seat on the 320 Neo for Kuwait Airways. Um, this is pretty much the trendy seats now. On the narrow body, they prefer actually sliding forward at a fixed shell instead of reclining to somebody. This is our Forma, which is available for premium economy application and business class application. So already certified for Airbus 330 uh, on uh, premium economy configuration, but the same seat can be also installed on 737 or 820, so narrow body as a business class. The main features of these seats, it is a fixed shell. So basically with the fixed shell, of course, you are not when reclining, you are not invading the space of the passenger behind you. And the seats can be mechanical or electrically operated. 
the first one here you have is a fixed shelf, and this one here is a recliner. Correct. So it's different, Correct. you have a choice. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what you guys prefer. You prefer a fixed shelf, slide forward, or you prefer the conventional so both, slide backward? Yes, both, uh, both are available and both has been designed uh, with the cooperation of Prism and Wood. Hey guys, check this out here. Now, this is beautiful display on the airplane, on the wall panel. I think this is future generation display here. What you can have is a normal lamination on your aircraft, either branding walls or when you first walk into the aircraft, but it also, also communicate where you can put your charger for your phone or have your actual um, branding for your aircraft right on here. Communicate different designs throughout the entire aircraft. If you look at these, they look like a bowling pin, right? But these are actually connected to the wood panel on Emirates aircraft. If you're a big Emirates airline flyer, you will recognize these patterns straight away, the finishing, right? So your company does all of these. Yeah, exactly. We are very focused on passenger experience and our company is specialized in all interior furnishing, uh, gold plating, wood finish, for uh, airlines, as you said, the Emirates, but also for VIP executive operators in the region. You also have this cool seat cover here. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you fly a lot on this airline, you would recognize the pattern on this one. And also the blue one here. The blue one's a regional low-cost airline based in Dubai. You will probably guess it now, Fly Dubai. And this one's actually from Etihad. So uh, I have to visit your store sometime to see all the seat cover, maybe take one home. Well, we're at the end of two fantastic days of Aircraft Interior Show. I hope you like it and see you next year.